Okay, lipase. If you are familiar with your medical terminology, the term ACE means to get rid of or to 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 clear. So lipase, you know, we hear lipe, we should be kind of thinking fats, lipoproteins, lipids. So lipase, okay. What lipase is, it's an enzyme created by the pancreas and it travels to the intestines where it aids in the breakdown of fats. Our normal level is 23 to 300 units per liter uh, and it's really used to diagnose pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. Now remember what I said here is it's a pancreatic enzyme, okay. So lipase is pancreatic enzyme and what it does is as we eat, it's one of these pancreatic enzymes that's released uh, into the intestines. And its whole job there is to break down fats, okay? We take fats in. We need it to be broken down in order to really digest it and to be able to use that fat. And the way that that happens is through lipase, okay? Okay. So I want you to kind of create a mental picture in your mind. I want you to have, you know, the digestive system with the intestines and the pancreas. And I want you to draw, you know, think of a little picture of someone ingesting fat. And that fat's going to go into the body. And when that fat goes into the body, what the pancreas is going to do is it's going to say, okay, we got to shoot some lipase into there so we can break that fat down and use it. So as that fat comes in, pancreas is going to release the uh, lipase and that's going to be broken down and made usable. So... What what we can take from that is we can take that, okay, well, if something goes on with our pancreas, it's going to affect our lipase and how our lipase is able to be used, etc. So some of the reasons that we're going to see increased level of, of lipase would be like pancreatitis, pancreatic cyst, uh, renal failure, cholecystitis, peptic ulcer disease. Those are going to cause increased levels of lipase. And so that's really why we're going to run this lab is we want to see, okay, does our patient have pancreatic issues? Okay, do they have pancreatitis? Do they have pancreatic cancer? And so if damage occurs to certain parts of uh, our pancreas, lipase is then going to be released into the bloodstream. So it's actually going to elevate uh, our lipase levels in our bloodstream. Okay, so it's very important to have and it's very important to keep this in mind that it's it's great for assessing uh, damage to our pancreas. Uh, because it's an enzyme that is released uh, from the pancreas. All right, so that's really what I want you to keep in mind with lipase. Very simple to keep in mind. It's going to break down fats, released by the pancreas, and that's really what you got to know, okay? Once you have those that uh, puzzle piece kind of connected, you'll be set with lipase.